friends, if you are a Microsoft Excel learner, then you must know in Microsoft Excel, if you use the formula within formula, that is called nesting. And in this particular video, I'm going to tell you the nesting of VLOOKUP. Means I'm going to use a VLOOKUP inside VLOOKUP. That is the nested VLOOKUP. But what is the use of nested VLOOKUP? Why we are going to use this particular formula within formula? And what kind of scenario we require to do this nesting? I'm going to explain all these things in this particular video. But before moving ahead, let me tell you that guys, this is not the first video of VLOOKUP. We have already created three videos of VLOOKUP. And if you haven't watched it, I recommend you to go into the description and check it out these videos because I have created a playlist on it and just go into the description and check it out these playlists and learn in a sequential. Then only you will able to understand what I'm going to tell you in this particular video. Do not start directly watching this fourth number video. Just go and watch previously three videos and then come back over here and then start it. I have also given a practice file to practice on that particular series because I'm going to create a 15 different lessons of this particular uh, we look up series. So this is our fourth video and let's go ahead and check it out how we are going to do a nesting of we look up. If you are interested, watch this video till the end and also hit the like button and subscribe to this channel if you are new to this channel. So let's go ahead and check it out uh, the practically how we are going to do the nesting of we look up. Let's go. Friends, I have another data set where I will explain you how to use nested VLOOKUP. But one second, why do we use nested VLOOKUP? Let me explain. Here is the data set. I have the table with roll numbers and exam seat numbers. There is another table with exam seat numbers and the corresponding student names and classrooms. This setup might be familiar to you as we often encounter similar data in our school days when we receive roll numbers and exam seat numbers for exams. In column A, we have a roll numbers and in column B, we have exam seat numbers. Our task is to find out student name and classroom by entering roll number. However, the tricky part is that the roll number column is not present in the second table. We only have the exam seat number column in both the tables. To clarify, our first table contains roll numbers and exam seat numbers. While the second table contains exam seat numbers, student names and classrooms column. So is it possible to find the student name and classroom by entering the roll number? Yes, of course it is possible. But when you enter a roll number over here, you won't get the result because no formula has been applied it. So before we directly get the student name and classroom, we need to find the exam seat number first because this roll number is not available inside second column that I already told you. So that's why we have to find out first exam seat number. But in our example, we are not looking exam seat number because our goal is to get a student names and classroom only. But to get it, we need to find out first exam seat number by using VLOOKUP. To do that, I'm going to write exam seat number over here. But don't worry, this is just for the explanation means I'm adding one VLOOKUP formula over here that will become a part of this formula only. Later on, I'm going to explain you how to do the nesting of that VLOOKUP. But first of all, understand first, let's find out the exam seat number from this particular table using VLOOKUP. To start, I will apply VLOOKUP formula over here. But before doing that, I want to name the tables for clarity. To name both the tables, select the entire range first table, then click on the name box, which is located in the left corner of the Excel screen and type name for the table. For example, I will define the name for this table as roll number. Remember, do not add spaces between words in the name. Instead of spaces, use underscore. So I have add name for this range, roll underscore number because spaces are not allowed between the names. Once you type the name, press enter key on keyboard to apply it. And now you can see this first table is successfully assigned a name range. Now let's select the second one and I'll repeat the same process for the second table. First select it, then click on this name box and type the name. As you can see, I have type over there exam underscore seat underscore number. Instead of space, I told you that you can add underscore sign and press enter key on keyboard to apply it. Naming a range or a table simplifies the process because you don't need to repeatedly select the range. If you need to change the name of table, you can't do it directly from here. Instead, go to the formulas tab and click on name manager and you will get this dialog box. 
in this dialog box you'll find name of ranges and table names that you can edit you can delete and whatever the things you want you can do with this particular name range for now i'll close this pop-up now that we have named our tables we can proceed with the wheel lookup to finding exam seat number by using roll number so let's apply the formula over here first by typing is equal to VL, you will get VLOOKUP formula, then press the tab key on keyboard and then you will get all the arguments of VLOOKUP. Lookup value, table array, column index number, range lookup. Now this is our fourth lessons, then you might be familiar with all these arguments. So let's go ahead and select the lookup value first. Once you select the lookup value, what we have to do? We have to fix this and to fix this, we need to press F4 key on keyboard. So I press it. Now you can see the range is fixed. Once you done with your lookup value, just put down a comma and the next argument that is table array. Here in this table array, I'm not going to select any table. Instead of selecting, I'm going to type a name of the table. As you already know, we have defined the name for the particular tables. So our first table is roll number and I'm going to type ROL. Once I type ROL, you can see the name over here and just press the tab key on keyboard. So as soon as you press tab key, the automatically select an entire range. You will notice the range name roll underscore number is highlighted with matching the table colors now once you're done with this just put down a comma to jump on a next argument that is column index number so now i'll enter a column index number since our table has only two columns roll number and exam seat number look at here roll number and exam seat number the exam seat number is our second column so i will type two because we are looking for exam seat number and that's why i'm entering two and in this particular table we are having exam seat number at the second position and the last argument that should be a zero exact match and i already explained you difference between exact match and approximate match so now just close the bracket and press the enter key on keyboard you will get exam seat number according to this roll number wow great look over here it is correct if you change your roll number you'll able to see our seat number is also changed because it will face the relevant data of that particular roll number now my next task is to get the student name based on the exam seat number because we have exam seat number column in the leftmost column of this particular table then we can easily use the vlookup to find out student names and classrooms by using lookup value as an exam seat number correct so let's use vlookup again over here i'm going to type vl once you type vl then press the tab key on keyboard then you'll get the four arguments and our first argument and our first argument is lookup value so let's select the lookup value now let me tell you guys is this my lookup value or this one is my lookup value this one absolutely right because we are looking into the second table now so roll number is not a lookup value for this particular formula now my lookup value will be my seat number and i'm going to fix it by pressing f4 you can fix it you know that what is the use of fix right so now put down a comma and select the table array where is my table table is located here but instead of selecting table array i'm going to type a name of that particular range and we already assigned the name that is the exam seat number so i'm going to type exam as soon as you type the exam press the tab key and once you press the tab key you will see that particular table name range is already selected and just put down a comma to jump to the next argument that is column index number for this we look up i'm not going to add a hardcore value like two or three look at over here carefully in this table we are having column number one that is exam seat number column number two that is student name and column number three it is classroom so the column index number for the student name it will be two but i am not going to use it hardcore value over here instead of using hardcore value i'm going to put down a row formula logic over here why because i'm going to drag this formula for classroom two and i don't want to change column index number every time so instead of changing values every time i'm going to add a row function so let's add a row function over here but what is the purpose of row that i already explained you let's select the row and what it is showing right now it is showing that you are applying this row formula and row function that whatever we can say it is in a row number five so that's why it is showing row number five but we want column index number as a two over here because a student name is located in column two so it should be two but row formula is currently show because it's a basic rule that if you are adding row function inside row number five it will display the exact row number of that particular row wherever you are adding that formula so currently it is showing five and if i want it should be displayed two so i'm going to subtract three from this particular row function so why i'm putting minus three over here just select this entire column index number and let's have a look this what it is going to show you it is going to show you two and we are exactly looking for two right 
we need a column index number two should be display and it is dynamic if you drag this formula it next for the classroom it will be a three and i already told you this logic in previous example so after setting a dynamic column index number let's put down a comma and i'm going to specify the range lookup as a zero for an exact match and then i'll close the bracket and press enter key on keyboard now you can see the result guys rajiv gupta wow interesting now let's drag this formula and you can see the rajiv gupta's classroom is 9b if i change the roll number two to four then i will find out relevant result that is vipul shama 9c classroom look over here which is correct result guys because once you enter a roll number the corresponding seat number will be update over here it is updated this we look up will get updated values too however if we delete the exam seat number the formula returns an error because it relies on the intermediate result to solve this we can optimize the process instead of using two step approach we can nest the we look up function to directly retrieve the student name and classroom from the roll number without needing an intermediate step means what i am going to do i'll just press control z to undo it and i'll select this particular formula and copy it now so let's nest the vlookup functions to streamline the formula and avoid dependency on this particular value to do that first double click on it select this formula without is equal to sign and copy it or else we can say cut it from here remove this formula from here and now edit this one formula which is next to student name i'm going to edit it instead of here i'm going to do one thing so i'll show you how to do the nesting of vlookup formula look at here first select this particular formula means double click on it and select this formula without is equal to sign okay Okay, edit this and select this formula without is equal to sign press ctrl x to cut it right and remove this is equal to sign too we don't need it and now i'll double click to edit this one also and instead of this e9 i'm going to put the formula that i already cut it so i'm going to paste it over here so now i'll paste first by pressing ctrl v once i press the ctrl v you can see entire formula that we already learned to find out the entire formula of we look up which is previously available in e9 cell is pasted over here so instead of using e9 directly over here right? previously it was e9 but instead of using e9 we are pasting that formula which is available inside the cell e9 so let's press enter key and see the result wow great now let's type another value over here and oh you can see once you type the roll number now you will able to see the student name and classroom too guys look at who here wow i have entered roll number one and it's arpit shah 8a look over here it is correct this technique is called nesting v lookup guys where we use one v lookup inside another to get the desired result from two different tables and this is the example that i wanted to show you to practice this technique i have provided a practice file in the description and one more thing guys if you are interested in learning advanced topics or advanced courses like microsoft excel power bi python sql and other skills then check out my courses link in the description these courses will help you to develop your skills and achieve your career goals with that being said and if i want it should be displayed too so i'm going to subtract three from this particular row function and now select this entire one and you will see this is going to show a two thank you for watching this video i have explained you how to use nested view lookup if you like this video hit the like button share it with your friends and consider subscribing if you are new to this channel see you in the next video take care bye bye